So by the time you get a turn again, you should be dead unless you're running. Oh, unless you're running that. Oh, oh, that's a lot of damage. I think that killed. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Yo, thank you guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out the new marathon, and also there's a new tail challenge that's going to start very soon. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the thing, okay? I have a good amount of gems this time for race, okay? I have 700. I know it's not a lot for some of you guys, but it's, it's good enough for me, okay? And last time, last time I was actually lacking on gems really badly. So here's the thing. With this marathon, right? You can actually get a lot of uh, tickets towards the conjuring event, uh, the amount of laps you do, right? So take a look at this. I think this was also the case for the previous one, but this one's better because you have a chance of getting a ancestral mythic monster. The previous time, it was what uh, device twenty-two, which I don't think many really cared about. So take a look at this, right? Uh, we've done four laps so far, so we've gotten hundred tickets every time. Now it actually increases when you get to fifteen laps, and then the most you can get is two hundred, which is at lap 45 and then lap 60 is basically 200 oh actually never mind 240 is the most i thought 200 was 240 uh so if you could get to lap 60 with your team i think it's actually worth it the amount of tickets you're getting and also you're getting a what like rank three or four i think it's rank three let me see 60 laps should be a rank three if i'm not mistaken yep so you can get a rank three basically for this new mythic monster this new mythic is a nature earth attacker with quicksand sandstorm brute and vulnerability skills Okay, gives me gives me uh, Carol vibes, I would say. Let me see. So it is one of the new mythic monsters for the um, not ancestral but abyssal era, right? So it's nice to have it. You do have CD immunity. This comes in handy, and then immune to curse. That's not bad. Soft precision as, as well, so you don't miss your attacks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Interesting. So if you are looking for a nature and earth attacker, I guess you can go ahead and pick him up. Uh, it is available right now in uh, the marathon. But here's the thing. Before we get into the marathon even more, tail challenge, guys. Tail challenge, tail challenge, tail challenge. Look at this. So right now, I would recommend getting as many tokens as possible. There will be monster wood ads available very soon, so you can get a bunch of tokens. Now, this mythic has evolving traits such as immune to fire at ignite at rank 0, immune to freeze at fear at rank 1, Immunity to Fear is actually nice to uh, have. Status Caster all allies gains immunity to freeze hard battle. Okay, not bad. So it's an attacker, reverse healing, stun, and fire weakness skills. Now I can't give much, I, like I can't really say much because I haven't actually reviewed this mythic monster yet. Or haven't really done analysis. I do like the relic slots a bit, not too much actually. Never mind, never mind, I changed my mind. I do like the sword but not the shield because... It doesn't have any form of uh, way to, you know, regenerate stamina. Like seriously, I don't, I don't really like that. Maybe if it was like an armor, so you could have given like Alarx, not Alarx armor. What's that one armor that heals you and also gives you stamina? And it's the only armor in the game that could do that. It's one of the obsidians. Do, do, do. Killerox armor. I was right, right? I think I, oh, I said Alarx armor. It's Killerox armor. This one. Uh, but unfortunately, it's um, it's one of the, what should I call it? Shields, right? And there aren't really any shields right now that could regenerate your stamina. Maybe for this, there will be. But I don't know if you could actually equip these on the new Abyssal monsters. You guys can let me know in the comments. But anyways, so, Marathon guys. Marathon, Marathon, Marathon. Let's see. I need to feed monsters for 120k food. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and feed up a little bit. They called my food. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I thought it was a maze. <laughs> I thought it was a maze task where you just feed a little bit and then it just pops up. But you got your coins. I need to feed up a lot. <laughs> what am I doing? I think that should be 120k. If my math is right. All right. And yep. Okay, so two left. And right now I don't have too many points. I only have 122. So yeah, the marathon started today, guys. And I would say sure. I mean, if you want to go for like 60 laps at least. You should do it. He's one of the new um, Abyssal monsters and, you know, their stats are really good. Stats are better than Galactic monsters, so might as well, right? Now, again, the tickets. The tickets, tickets, tickets. I have 900 right now. I'm going to continue saving up for even more. Because you guys actually uh, seem to enjoy me uh, spending these tickets. Uh, I have made um, two videos so far spending 3,000 each. So 6,200 in total that I've spent so far. And you guys enjoy it. Okay, all near cells. But yeah, um, so far I have 900. I'm going to continue getting more and more. And then eventually I'll make another video where I open up even more uh, of those uh, 
or summon even more of those monsters. Hopefully we can actually get the Ancestral Mythic. I have how many cells? I have don't I don't have a single cell for the Ancestral Mythic. Then I better get the egg. I better get the egg. I'm gonna be mad if I don't. Uh but anyways, let me see, let me see, let me see. Who can we craft? Maybe this for collection purposes. The rest are old. I don't want to do the rest, honestly. Whatever's recent, I guess. Um, also, for PvP, I really need to get back to doing PvP. The reason for that is because I actually purchased the Battle Pass over the Legends Pass. Yes, you heard me right. I purchased the Battle Pass over the Legends Pass because I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try to do a lot of PvP tasks. Or just PvP in general, right? I'm going to do a lot of them throughout this season. And I was hoping to... Um, Get a lot of cells. I mean, I, PvP, I played it a lot last season. If you guys actually saw my profile, I think I did at least 1,000 attacks, which is a lot. 1,000 attacks for me, personally, it's, it's a lot. Um, now, for some of you guys, probably not a lot, but hey, uh, for me, it was, it was a lot. Uh, let me try to see if I could actually find a, a life rune that's mutated with speed. I actually need two of them, one for uh, Nerida, the other one for, what should I call it, Ural. So you can take one and then I'll give you another team speed here. Seven cents. I'm going to replace this with ancient cloak in case we face any extra turners. And then maybe I can keep that arch root talent. I don't think I want to switch it. I'm going to run the same exact setup as I did the previous season. Um, if I can't find a strength drain that's mutated with anything, I might just run what I have. Oh, no, we actually found something. Yeah, let's do the triple string setup. So my defense team is actually messed up. I don't care about that. I just want to attack a few times so that I can actually fill up those slots. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, by the way, let me know in the comments below how many laps your team is actually going for. I know that KB Racers is actually going for global again, I think. That's what it seems like. They have a lot of laps already. So we'll have to see. They did a amazing job last, um, last season. They actually did. You guys saw it, right? They reached um, over 200 laps and got first place, which was awesome. They did invite me. They did invite me and said if I wanted to go ahead and join them for the race, I can. But then I didn't want to risk um, us facing a competitive team for Team Wars. You guys know, for Team Wars, I tend to go all out. I spend a lot of gems as well. Yeah, that's that's most players really in the competitive league if you're in a competitive team uh when you're facing like a really difficult team and you're actually trying you tend to spend a lot of gems like removing runes if you're lacking on runes you you know tend to remove them or even like if you're not lacking on runes sometimes you need to give like sx runes just to provide like more life or more whatever really um most of the time it's just a life really i'm gonna do this I'm gonna attack you. Adam's cross. We'll just do this. And then I guess I'll just do the transparent straight away. And if I need to, I can do transparent again. I'm just gonna set it on auto. But it looks like none of them really came back. Interesting. No revival lessons on those two monsters. I'm in top 900. That's not good. That is not good at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm facing lots of uh, newbies here, which is good. But I should get up to the top top. I'm, I'm really... Really um, lacking on PvP this season, which is not good. I don't like it. I'm gonna go ahead and trade this evil you. You know what? I okay. I feel like you're going to do what I think you're going to do, which I don't like. I'm gonna do this straight away, so you don't do what you do. Okay, so you're gonna die. You're gonna hit get hit twice, which is good. Okay. So by the time you get a turn again, you should be dead unless you're running. Oh, unless you're running that. Oh, oh, that's a lot of damage. I think that killed. <laughs> no, that was awesome. That was just awesome, dude. What? Oh, that is so good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Poor Voltaic. Was that one of my teammates? I think that was one of my teammates. Unless, no, it wasn't one of my teammates. Because he tends to run that um, avatar as well. Let me see who that was. Okay, somebody from House of Justice. That was very nice. The skill mirror combo with uh, Adam's Cross together. That was very nice. Okay, so this is pretty easy too. I just have to PR and then trade the Sable them. 
But if he PRs me, I could do something else. No, okay, so I'll do with this. And I get hit with that, but that's okay. All I need to do is trade this. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Toxins take a lot of damage. It really does. I don't like it. Um, who has the seven sins? You do, right? So I'm not going to attack you yet. I'm going to do this. And that's going to be a lot of damage on you. I think you will die from bleeding. You do have Dark Passenger, but that doesn't remove tortures. So what I'll do, I'm thinking, let me eliminate you. You're going to get the turn, but that's okay because you're going to die anyways. And when I get the turn here, come on. When I do, I'm thinking we do this. Then we do this. So we get, we give everybody turn. And then we go on and heal and provide torture immunity that way. If, you know, Seven Sins does trigger again, which I don't think it will, you know, we would have gotten hit with a torture. And we have a lot of health now. So anyways, I am filled it up with all tier 2s, 1s, and 3s, and 4s maybe. Okay, that wasn't good at all. I was expecting some tier 5s and 6s. <laughs> uh, but I just need to hatch a monster real quick for the race. Help out a team. Uh, do this. Cool, cool, cool. So done with that, 8 out of 15. We currently have 4 laps. I don't know how many laps we're actually going for. I don't think we've really decided. Because recently we've had some uh, difficult wars. Somewhat difficult. Let's take a look at this. We've mashed Phantom and then done right after. And before that was... Oh, actually, look. All 4 of these teams. Champs, this, Phantom, and that. 4 in a row. Champs is in 3rd place right now. They're in 5th. But yeah, um, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's monster video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and let me in the comments down below your thoughts on the new marathon, how many laps your team is going for. And if you haven't joined a team already, I recommend joining a team, okay? You want those tickets so you can maybe have a chance to get this new ancestral mythic monster. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.